Dove stiamo c'era? Mainzer da Da qui io? Da Genjon A noi sono già Mainziotas? No, no, no Poi ho fatto la ho detto che c'è una pesca di marmi. 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 Ho detto che c'è Paul, this is a beautiful hospital. How did you guys manage to keep it so beautiful? With a playground for kids? Playground for kids is almost mandatory. We have so many of them. And we have a full team of gardeners. Uh, really, they're taking care of this place with, with love and passion. And they love flowers. It's, that's a surprising thing in such a violent country. Mm -hmm. That flowers are so... Hey! So my name is Emanuele Nannini and I'm uh, the program coordinator of emergency in, uh, in Afghanistan. Uh, I'm working with the emergency since uh, four years in uh, several locations, but mainly here in, uh, in Afghanistan, where I spent more than uh, three years. Uh, since uh, 6 October 2001, ISAF campaign started in the country. Uh, all the uh, conflict and all the contest of, of Afghanistan changed quite, uh, quite, quite fast. Uh, and the emergency tried to, to develop his activity according to the need of the population and according to the need of the Afghan patient. So what is mainly changed uh, was the activity in uh, our Panjshir hospital, what that was from the very beginning a war-related uh, hospital, uh, that became what here in Afghanistan uh, is called a provincial hospital or a general hospital, uh, due to the fact that in Panjshir uh, province uh, the situation became quite uh, uh, peaceful uh, as soon as the Taliban were, uh, were defeated. Uh, so right now in our Panjshir Hospital, that is the biggest hospital of emergency in the country, is an hospital with uh, 120 beds. Uh, we treat more or less all kinds of disease, uh, including internal medicine, pediatric medicine, elective and emergency surgery. And we have a big uh, maternity department where we do around 4,000 delivery a year. Uh, as you know, uh, Afghanistan is uh, one of the worst countries to be a mother uh, due to the fact that there is a very high mortality rate uh, for the mother during the delivery. So we are proud to say that last year, out of 4,000 deliveries, only two mothers have died. Uh, so it's uh, showing that uh, even improving the maternal care uh, in a country like Afghanistan where the, uh, uh, all the issues related to the woman are, is very difficult is possible as well as we did uh, in, uh, in the last year and we are uh, continuing to do this year. Uh, the other part of the project that has changed uh, is uh, the development of our uh, clinics. So we have 35 clinics that we call uh, FAP, first aid post, around the country. And uh, uh, we have keep monitoring the situation uh, around, the, around the country in the last uh, 11 years, trying to understand where the conflict was moving. So we kept opening and closing these uh, clinics according to the situation of the conflict. Uh, just in our hospital in Kabul there are 10 Afghan 
con eh, civilian or uh, uh, military uh, that are severely wounded by, the, by a bullet or by a mine. Uh, considering that our hospital is just one hospital all over the country, that makes you understand uh, how uh, is difficult the life of the Afghan population. Uh, if these are the number of the wounded one, you can imagine how big can be the number of the dead people around the country. Uh, Another uh, important part of our hospital that is not really related to the surgical treatment is the care that we have for the, for the children. So we have uh, employed a uh, teacher as uh, we call uh, that is a guy that is uh, trying to make some uh, lesson and to some also some uh, didactic activity to the children that are staying here long time so they miss the opportunity to, to go to school and to to be with other children so even here we try to recreate uh, the, uh, the environment of the school where children together are sitting in a, in a classroom the emergency is a, is a huge guarantee for us uh, our name it's, uh, it's really uh, well known around the country. Emergency has been treated uh, uh, around 3 million Afghan, so it's uh, a very big part of the society. And uh, most of the Afghan, or almost uh, all the Afghan, are really loving emergency. surgeon and I've been working with uh, emergency since 2002 for something over 10 years. I've worked in all the Afghan hospitals, Afghan province, in Kabul and in uh, Panjshir, uh, plus other hospitals that uh, we have in Africa and uh, far uh, East Asia, Cambodia, Sierra Leone. Boxes for uh, instruments for different kinds of surgeries. For example, here we have debridement sets, which is a very, very common uh, procedure that is performed on trauma patients. We have amputation sets, uh, thoracotomy, obviously a full set of uh, abdominal uh, boxes for laparotomies, plus uh, stuff for orthopedic surgery. So this boy was victim of a mine explosion. Uh, he and uh, his brother, they, they found a mine on the ground and they started playing with it and it uh, definitely exploded. Uh, he lost his uh, left uh, leg in the event. He was injured to the dormant, so he had a 
laparotomy with the perforation of some internal organs, there's a rectum and a small, small bowel. There's various uh, soft tissue wounds on the limbs, an amputation of three fingers on the right and two on the left. He also has, as you can see, multiple shelves to the neck and to the face. Mm -hmm. One of the shelves uh, was in the neck. I think it was the internal jugular mm -hmm. that was cut. So he had a significant amount of breathing, of bleeding, which is why he had to come to the ICU afterwards. He was intubated on the ventilator overnight, and uh, we took the tube out this morning. Can you, can you talk? Pardon? Can you talk? Can you read it? Yeah. You just said, Joe Michel starts to No, not Chias. I'm a journalist. I'm a journalist. I'm a journalist. I'm a journalist. I'm a a journalist. I'm a the left side of his chest, which went through his lung, through his diaphragm, through his colon, and through his liver. So he had some chest strains, and was also taken to surgery twice for repair of the colon in the stomach. Went through the stomach too. This is the bullet that the surgeons took out in around this area. It went straight through. Jonathan, I'm Jonathan. How long have you worked for um, emergency? Uh, I started last year in July. July? Yes. Okay. It was my first mission. So How do you like it here, Afghanistan, isn't it? It's wonderful. Uh, when I arrived, I didn't know really anything about this country, so I was just a little bit. But then now I enjoy the people and enjoy this country really so much. With them and with these people. I feel like it's my country, and that is a good. I feel that it's my country. Yes, yes. 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 Yes, Uh, well, my name is uh, Anton. I, I come from Spain. I'm working with emergency systems in LA. This is my second long mission in Afghanistan. Uh, uh, my first mission was six months in 2008, and I'm working here since May, and uh, I will be here until May. I mean, I have one year. Contract. I'm Eleonora, and I'm a midwife. I've been trained in Italy, but working in London for five years, and this is my second mission here in working for an emergency. I work here one year in between 2010 2011 and this is my second mission it will be another six months working as an international midwife in the maternity center of a Panship hospital. Uh, do you also train other, pe other women to be midwives? Yeah, our project here basically is um, there is this maternity unit where we have 99% of people working here is local uh, Afghan women who are trained to be midwives. They start as a, like people that help the system because most of the time they start and they don't have any skills at all. For sure, but Anton, how much you need to assist me? How many? Five hundred. Yes. You are also for your patient. For them. 
Thank you.